Yeah. I've done a lot of things you wouldn't do. <laughs> a lot of things Wyatt wouldn't have done either. My name is Rosalind. Rosalind Sloan Warren. I think about water all the time. It can spill on the floor. Or keep you cool in the summertime. And yet, it can also capsize the largest boat, devastate a coastline, or deprive you of oxygen. I want to be more than that. Because I am more than a dream, more than my past. more than human. Funny thing about it all is how much I miss the food. Not the flavor nor sustenance, really. I miss the ritual of it all. Cooking used to be my favorite hobby. After my mom told me what we were, I went to the library and I looked through every book I could find. Just researching. Most of it's a load of shit, really. I mean, I can't fly. I didn't develop some unimaginable beauty, but... I didn't turn into a monster either. Thank God. <laughs> Tell you one thing the movies have gotten right though. Some of us don't deserve our gift. I miss my mother in a way, even though I wouldn't have been able to move on without her. I saw Nicole and her mom at the roller rink the other day. Overindulgent fat cunts, both of them. They don't respect nature. You take only what you need. One day I may have a need for them. Or maybe I'm projecting. <laughs> This, this never happened with Wyatt. He always made me feel so loved. Always told me I was the most beautiful girl he had ever seen. And how I was his favorite and, and all that. Wyatt came from a pretty fucked up family. And coming for me, that's a pretty damn astute compliment with my mother and everything. He always just told me that he knew exactly what I was going through. That he knew how I felt. I know it's stupid or whatever. And I should probably just forget it, but... I really thought we were like soulmates or something. 
right up until the end. My mother was a very respected woman. Hundreds of people went to her funeral. I'm convinced half of them only went out of fear that she would haunt them otherwise. She always used to say to me that the only way to gain respect was to never put out. Well, I mean, she didn't say it exactly like that, but I knew how she meant it. She hated men. Never met my father even, so. I went a bit wild in high school. Daddy issues and blah, blah, blah. Anyway, after the first time she caught me, she locked me away for a month. She drilled it in my head over and over again that all men are monsters. Our family tree was living proof. Of course, I never told her about Wyatt. She would be the last person to understand. My mother's dead now anyways. She lived a long and fucked life. Bone cancer is what got her in the end. <laughs> Bone cancer. Can't practice rituals when you can't move, can you? We had spoken about it for about a month. Wyatt and me. I had to ask him early, otherwise he'd forget or say something came up at work or that there was a sudden problem or something. I always knew he was lying. I thought about not going out at all. Yeah. I thought about it.
was a long time ago. I've got this whole thing down now. I could go on like this forever if I wanted to. Forever young. I've let some people grow old who shouldn't have gotten the chance. What else did you want to know?